Okay, we finally made it. Bash at the Beach. 1998. Well, let's start things going, shall we? Uh, Cruiserweight title to start off with. Ultimo Dragon versus Chavo Guerrero. High flying classic, I'm sure. But the. At the t uh, I know it, it, in the, with this we'd lose the great hair versus hair match between Chavo and Eddie, but which is one of my favorite, which is one of the, the only few matches on this pay per view that I actually enjoyed, apart from the Goldberg Kurt Kurt Henning one. But I'd have Chavo Guerrero go over. I think he was ready to be cruiserweight champion at this time. Then we go to the TV title match: Scott Steiner taking on the British. Bulldog, and this is the first of a series of matches with the NWO taking on WCW. Uh, Scott Steiner gets the win, so that's NWO one, in already in this best of five series. Then you have Booker T taking on Stevie Ray. Well, while this probably wouldn't be a great match, Stevie Ray gets the win. And NWO is up too. So in order for WCW to win this, they have to go all the way through and win every single match from here on in. And you, and you'd be going, well, we're not sure if we can do that. Well, <sighs> then we go to our, our our break between those matches. You have the tag team title match. The Four Horsemen, represented by Chris Benoit and Dean Malenko, with Arn Anderson at their side, taking on the Public Enemy. Now, the Public Enemy get the win here, they, but they, this would be a totally out of control matches. All the Public Enemy's matches would be, have been, from what I've seen. But they managed to they managed to get the win through some devious thing. Things. Uh, the, then we go to the US title match. Goldberg versus Kurt Hanning with Rick Rude in the corner. Uh, I'd book this similar to how the bat match with the world title match was booked between these two. Uh, you pretty much have that same interview again with uh, that they had at the show where Kurt Hanning was saying inexperience is Goldberg's weakness and that and you'd have Goldberg uh, to have Kurt Henning sort of working on the leg but you, there'd be a little bit more of that and uh, hopefully Goldberg would be selling the leg a bit more even after the match all right uh, that put and guess what that puts WCW up one so it's now two to one then you go to another four horsemen match Rick Flair st teaming with Steve Mongo McMichael with Kevin Green in their corner, taking on the NWO represented by Brian Adams and Scott Norton, and with Vincent in their corner. Rick Flair and Steve Mongo McMichael managed to get the win here, so it's tied two to two. Uh, going into the final match. <clears throat> okay, we take a break again for the number one contenders match. Raven versus Sting, and this is fought under Raven's rules. Now, I would, would have had Raven win some sort of match to get the, that stipulation added, that it was a Raven's rules match. Raven manages to get the win here, so he becomes the number one contender. Also, uh, then we go, uh, uh, Raven gets the win, but yeah. Manages to counter out of uh, Sting's Scorpion Death Drop into his Even Flow DVD T. All right, then we go into our special match with a w st double stipulation. Okay, this is the final of the matches, and we also have the added stipulation: if Savage's team wins, Hogan also gets reinstated. Uh, so Savage would have won some sort of. Uh, also would have done something or to get that stipulation added. Uh, Lex Luger to, uh, and DDP also team up with Randy Savage for this one to take on the Outsiders and Conan uh, with the with Dennis Rodman in their corner and Karl Malone in the 
WCW Team's Corner. All right, now, throughout the match, Savage's knee is worked on by by all by Hall, Nash, and that, and Conan. He manages to get the hot tag to DDP. DDP comes in, bang, bang. Uh, all chaos breaks loose, but in the corner is... Is Savage holding his knee going, ah, 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 or something to that effect. He's holding his knee and he's in pain. And that goes right until the end. Diamond Carter uh, on, on Conan. One, two, three. WCW wins. All right. Then we go to the world title match inside a steel cage. Bret Hart taking on the giant. Bret Hart manages to get the win because uh, we'll add the stipulation that this was an escape match. Bret Hart manages to escape purely by the fact of his speed. You can uh, the giant is still in the cage and he's throwing. He's like, ah, I can't believe this. Oh. He loses again. Go to the Nitro after. NWO comes out for the last time with their heads down and they're like so disappointed. They're, they're arriving in their arena in their limos and all that for the last time. Cut to, a, uh, to the intro of the show. Cruiserweight match starts off. This is the rematch from the previous night. Chavo Guerrero taking on the ultimate Guerrero dragon. Chavo manages to get the win again. Then the NWO comes to the ring. Nash says the... That this has only just begun. Then Hogan music hits. Not the all American the Voodoo Child music. And points directly at Nash. Mike to his mouth says, Me and you at Road World. Cut to commercial. Wrath takes on Conan. Uh, after the match, though, Wrath wins. Brian Adams comes out and attacks Conan. Beats the crap out of him. And leaves side by side with Wrath. We have the beginnings of what will become Chronic. Uh, the Destruction Crew takes on High Voltage. I'd say I have the Destruction Crew to win this match. After this, you said uh, during this match you, you have like a picture and picture. You see Hogan's leaving the arena. Four Horsemen, represented by Ric Flair, Chris Benoit, and Dean Malenko, with Arn Anderson in their corner, taking on the Public Enemy and Kurt Henning with Rick Rude in his corner. Uh, probably have the Public Enemy get the win here to start establishing them as a top tag team. U.S. title: Goldberg versus Stevie Ray. With Vincent beside him. Now these two are no longer wearing NWO shirts. But Stevie Ray is probably in something like jeans or something. Along with Vincent. With like an old old shirt or something on there. There's no more NWO shirts seen on the show at all. Even when Nash and that came out that was the, it. That was all. Uh... Goldberg, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, on Stevie Ray. And so uh, probably knocks out Vincent in the process as well. Uh, Hall comes out and and says, Hey, yo, your streak's going to end at Road Wall because it's going to be you and me. Cut to commercial, come back. You got Chris Jericho and the British Bulldog and Jim the Anvil Nightheart. As well as Bret Hart taking on Hugh Morris, the giant, the faces of fear with Jimmy Hart in their corner. Uh, this will probably, I think this is probably the last time you'd see British Bulldog anyway. Raven. Uh, Bret Hart manages to get the win again on, say, people to sharpshooter on Hugh Morris. Raven comes out and says, don't you forget about me and you at Road Wild. That's it, people. That's the end. Oh, this is going to be a longer video than usual.
Okay, please comment, subscribe, tell your friends, repost this, share this around, stick this in wrestling groups and stuff like that, where appropriate or whatever, show, show, show it around. Okay, thanks, bye.